Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about some super sweet gourmand perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now my scent of the day is my beloved Changing Constance by Pen Halligans. I'm finally using this beautiful perfume that I've screamed about for like the last three years because it's just my favorite from the brand. Now this is a sweet, a salted caramel, a little bit spicy from the cardamom. It's got some vanilla, some cashmere, a little bit of tobacco which is very subtle in this perfume this is a must have for any gourmand lover even if you don't like super sweet perfume you will still love this perfume i have put <laughs> so many people onto this perfume it's unbelievable and i just really love it i think the longevity is fantastic i think the scent profile is beautiful i wore it out earlier i just went out for a birthday party and i just got back home and i got so many compliments from people i absolutely adore this perfume i even have a dedicated video to this perfume and i rarely do dedicated videos but i have one on changing constants so make sure you check it out so i'm gonna kick it off with orchidy vinyl by van cleef and apples absolutely enjoy this perfume as you guys can see i love this now this has a ton of notes you've got some fruity notes you've got some caramels you've got vanilla cacao this is giving a super sweet edible type of gourmandness <laughs> the only thing i don't like about this perfume is it's not long lasting it's not um a perfume that particularly projects but when i sniff this it literally puts me on a high because it fulfills all of my edible desires. If you are a vanilla lover, if you absolutely enjoy like a cacao, uh, milky, toffee type of chocolatey scent, you are going to love this perfume. Can I just say, come closer. If anybody wants to just replace this bottle, just slide into my DMs. Give me a super thanks. You know, buy me coffee. I need to get me a new bottle of this perfume i'm so obsessed with it if you guys have this perfume please comment down below let the people know this is a beauty so once again this is orchidy vinyl by van cleef and apples now i cannot do this list without vanilla 28 as you guys can see again another empty bottle guys you you guys are seeing the, a trend here all my bottles are empty i do have a backup though because Vanilla 28 is my second favorite Kayali. My number one um, Kayali, as always, and probably will always be Sweet Diamond. But this follows very closely. Now, Vanilla 28 is your vanilla and sugar scent. I love. I love. I layer this with everything. I wear this to bed. I wear this to work. I want this to a wedding. I wear this perfume so much. It's the only Kayali perfume that i have a hundred mil off because i love it that much it's definitely going to be my scent of the day tomorrow just so i can finish this bottle off and be done with it so i'm not gonna bore you anymore with vanilla 28 you guys already know this is one of my favorite perfumes ever the next perfume is devotion by dolce and gabbana i love this perfume so much this to me it's like a freshly squeezed lemon with some sugar and some cakey vibes is giving me cheesecake like lemon cheesecake lemon meringue it is so lemony and fresh and then it dries down to a fresh gourmand which is just so beautiful you get vanilla i believe there's a caramel note in here even if there isn't i get like this very smooth underlining caramel toffee like scent which i love in this perfume but it's very soft it's not a perfume that screams at you it definitely is um uh, it's on the same realm as um bake by acro and also lira by zerjov and both perfumes are super expensive so you can just get this it's a lot cheaper it does more or less the same thing 
and i love it because this gets me a lot of compliments and i don't have to spray a lot it still lasts long and it smells so divine so that is devotion by dolce and gabbana next we have another kayali this is pistachio gelato 33 little backstory this was not love at first name for me i can't even lie i was like where's the pistachio where is the sweet rum where is the where is the kick i wanted this to have some kick to it and it doesn't it still doesn't have a kick to it but i found myself falling in love with this this was a grower it wasn't a shower but it's there. <laughs> this was definitely a perfume that grew on me and i think i was slightly influenced by my husband who adores this perfume on my skin now this has notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut i, I don't get that um sweet rum don't get that whipped cream definitely get that marshmallow 100 percent, and cotton candy ish i get it a little bit this to me is like a lactonic smooth a slightly nutty ice cream smelling kind of scent it's a little bit green just a tiny 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 little bit green on my skin don't know what it's saying on yours but it's kind of green on mine and i love it for that reason i just wish the rum would just pierce through and just gives it like a shot of something like like I just want something that would just zing into my nose and I just did, I didn't get that. It was just quite flat all through. I was looking for something, but I do enjoy the scent profile. I love wearing it. It's gotten better over time. This is not a beast mode performing perfume. This does not project, but it does stay on your skin. I want to say four hours at the very most, whether you overspray or not you are not getting more than four hours from this perfume at least on my skin anyway and a few people that i know have this perfume also said the longevity is really lacking but they love the same profile like i said it's an amazing amazing perfume it's a grower it's not a perfume that instantly i wasn't like oh my gosh i want this right now i need this perfume in my life it's not like that and to be quite honest once i'm done with this i feel like the only reason i repurchase is because my husband loves it so much and i noticed that i feel like guys like this perfume on women um but for me i want something that is gonna really give me that heavy sweet rummy pistachio i want it to be so heavy that i would completely just be like oh completely blown away and i wasn't blown away i do love it now and i feel like i'm just repeating myself let me just be quiet this is a really good perfume try it before you buy next is milk expressive by commodity this perfume is so lush it's this is how lactonic perfumes needs to be done this is lactonic on the most beautiful level you get the marshmallow you get the warm milk it's a comforting cozy super huggable kind of perfume it layers really well with so many perfumes in my collection it's a gourmand that it's not too heavy this can be worn all year round it's very very addictive a compliment magnet again this is not going to project this is not a beast mode perfume but it lasts long you will smell yourself throughout the day with this perfume on it is so beautiful it's probably my favorite by commodity this is a kind of scent profile that i love in a perfume and i think it's done to perfection so that is milk by commodity now this next perfume is not blind by safe now i've described this perfume many times in the past and i find that when people have bought it they were literally taken back by how realistic it smells this is shea and blue salt caramel now if you are looking for let me just say if you like popcorn if you like a salted very very salted caramel popcorn like the butter kissed one that's what you get it's extremely realistic but it, it does have a little bit of a perfume vibe to it this is edible this is drinkable this is eatable this is so delicious to me but it's not bland by safe because it's quite salty now if you're 
depending on your skin chemistry this might come off a bit too salty but for me it is fantastic great longevity it projects it lasts long people are going to smell you and when this sits on the skin for a long time i want to say around the two hour mark it changes it changes and it literally becomes so warm and so toffee sticky sweet just the way i like it and i feel like this brand are so underrated it's so annoying they have such incredible perfumes super affordable super unique great quality check this one out i want to say this is their best seller this is not my favorite from the brand my favorite is one that is um something tulip which i really love this is my second favorite i love this one more for the autumn and winter months will not be pulling for this in the summer because i feel like this is going to attract bees um but aside from that if you like a super sweet popcorn smelling kind of perfume this is the one for you so that is salt caramel by shea and blue now this next perfume smells like cake like a delicious sponge vanilla and um, caramel filling cake and it is scent bath vanilla west indies again another one that i've been talking about for so long this is very very edible smelling it's not so perfumey it kind of smells like food it smells like bakery it's nothing like the like italica by zerzhov that one is just like it smells like a bland pastry to me this has a little bit more edge to it the toffee is toffee and the caramel is caramelizing the vanilla is sweet everything here is so sweet but don't spray it on clothes because it's going to stain it aside from that this perfume is perfection for all gourmand lovers it's very very sweet it's very syrupy like like you feel like you are literally spraying a sweet sticky syrup on yourself i am in love i'm truly obsessed repurchase for life i will never ever be without this perfume and also a little goes a long way if you guys can see the juice is kind of like thicker than your average juice so after it's macerated it gets it just gets better with time and i absolutely love it so that is scent baths vanilla west indies escapade gourmand escapade gourmand is a perfume that you need you just need this this oh this is gorgeous this is beautiful this sends me in a trance this is like when i stick this in my nose i don't want to take it out of my nose i am so in love with this this is one of those perfumes that my husband recognized the moment i spray this on oh my gosh ladies if you have creme brulee by laura mercier which is really hard to find at the moment um people are selling it on ebay for a ridiculous amount of money uh looks like i'm gonna have to buy one regardless of how ridiculous it is that body lotion body cream is the best cream i have ever put my body like if i've ever put on my body it literally smells like creme brulee i do have an alternative um, but the brand is based here in the uk i'm not sure if they ship internationally they have a body cream that's also named creme brulee and it smells really really good let me show you so that is it they don't know i'm doing this i got this with my own money but the scent oh the scent of this this is what it looks like it smells like creme brulee it's not as rich as um the laura mercier one but it moisturizes better if that makes sense i feel like there's shea butter in here this is amazing i'm gonna link it down below i've got no affiliate link for it but i will link it or you can just dm them on instagram this sells out the moment they release it i kid you know it sells out within 24 to 48 hours so if you live in the uk i suggest you just buy this and layer it with escapade gourmand and thank me later now somebody was saying that this smells similar to bianco latte no it doesn't oh, guys the thing is let me get into my zen <laughs> zen mode bianco latte is not blind by safe it's not for everyone 
please go and smell that do you know i don't even think you guys can smell it if you can find someone or find somewhere to buy a sample please try it first don't listen to everyone because i was this close to blind buying bianco latte and thank goodness i didn't do it because i would have been angry at myself because bianco latte was not bianco latte i was expecting something completely different to what everyone has been speaking about and somebody had the audacity to compare it to escapades gourmand they are nothing i like please do not listen but if you have to blind buy blind buy this one trust and believe you are going to love this perfume it's giving vanilla it's giving caramel it's giving a cakey vibe but this smells like perfume another one that layers beautifully with perfumes like milk by commodity um oriana by performance the mali literally you can layer this with anything it works incredibly well and i'm truly obsessed with it the next one is a burberry her elixir oh this one is a um it's like a fruity gourmand this is a strawberry milkshake it's like a strawberry cheesecake it's giving strawberry a whole different name because i don't really like strawberries in perfumes most of the time but i love it in this perfume it's just so creamy it's not all the way like tonic it's definitely got a milky vibe going but it's giving me more like a like a frosted cream kind of vibe as opposed to cow's milk so this is amazing if you like a sweet strawberry a ripe strawberry or you just like a milkshakey smelling perfume you are going to love this it's my favorite from the old burberry um her line i think it's the best one um i feel like it's the most long lasting one as well it's the most likable one it's also one that gets me a lot <laughs> a lot of compliments and for that reason i highly recommend it so that is burberry her elixir and last but not least is Johnny by sora dora this was kindly kindly sent to me by the brand i asked for it i did ask i was like can i please get Johnny? because everyone keeps talking about this perfume and they are not lying like what well, the people that i trust that so spoke about this perfume spoke very highly of it this gives me a lotus biscoff vibe it's giving a biscuity crunchy it's not, it's not a crunchy perfume obviously but it's just giving me that crunch that oomph it's got so much going for it it also smells a little bit like a croissant it's just so, it's just so delectable it's very 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 long lasting it projects so well i wore this to work the other day and literally all around where i sat people were coming to ask me if i had biscuit what i was wearing literally like this is loved it's beautiful it's feminine it's fun it's flirty it's definitely a gourmand you can wear all year round and i do have a discount code on it i got 10 percent off for you guys um i will leave it in my description box below i'll also leave it over there and you can use the discount code on any soradora perfumes it doesn't have to be the ones i'm recommending but i will tell you the the two perfumes that i highly recommend from soradora is johnny and mallow i love those two so much and i don't feel you will regret getting them even if you blind bought them I don't think you'll regret it if you like a sweet smelling perfume so that is johnny by sora dora so my lovelies that is it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching i'm sorry it's kind of short because you guys come for me because my videos are short but the thing is i it takes longer to edit if i have a long video i'm gonna be here for hours editing away and it's just it's a bit long and i have a nine to five so please pardon me i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching again um let me just do a quick top three actually because i always forget okay super hard to pick the top three but i would say this is an amazing pick this is the devotion by dolce and gabbana i am clearly obsessed with escapade gourmand and i will forever be obsessed with changing constants so i like all of them honestly exactly the same but these three kind of do a little bit of something extra for me um so my lovelies thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye